Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. Hey, Teddy. Um, at the camper today, and one of the things that I did to show you guys that I could run this off grid, including the slide out, which I have out today. Normally when I'm in here, the slide out is in, so I lose all that space right there where the table is right now. Uh, that's usually where I sit and do my videos. But now I've got a lot more room. I was able to put the cushions here uh, because when the slide when the slide comes in, it, it comes all the way to here. Um, I've got some storage under this one that I could put some stuff. I got an old, my old shower head in there. And um, I had these cushions on the bed, but now I could put them here. And you could see how when that table falls down, and I put those other cushions out. You can have a nice size bed for, you know, two people there. And then the, now Teddy's real happy. So he could jump back and forth from the, the dinette area back up onto the bed, which I have a second mattress. I just bought another good grade foam mattress and put it over the original mattress, which was not comfortable at all. And of... Uh, I've got the windows open, We've got some air going through, got the radio on, uh, the fan in the bathroom is running, uh, I could put lights on if I wanted, everything is running off this 1000 watt Jackery battery that I plumbed in several months ago. So I'm able just to, I've got all the wires pre-wired into the circuit panel. And then when I come in with the Jackery, all I do is plug in the 12 volt, turn on the battery, and there you can see I'm running right now 32 watts because the fan is on. I have the radio on. And so the battery is 94% full. And um, open the curtains a little bit, get some light in here. And so there you see now how the kitchen area is a lot more open. You guys never really see this when I'm here because I have the slide out in. So you kind of all this area here is blocked off. But now I have access to the other cabinet, which I already have some gear in there. Um, my broom, <clears throat> some bags, uh, an electric um, pan with a cover. And you can see all that in there. Uh, outlet there. Put this here. My drawers, silverware in here, coffee grinder. This stuff I keep on the camper, a couple flashlights foil lighter and then just my notebook on the bottom of the drawer and then in this cabinet you can see it goes far back uh, I have an empty down here I have some cones and some stuff for the for the RV itself uh, I took out the copper chef to show you guys I keep this on board because under if I didn't want to use my uh, propane tank and the stove that's Part of the camper i just keep it covered i put the copper chef on now i haven't tried the copper chef with the jackery because i don't think the jackery could run this it's so it, this does over a thousand watts but my um blue eddy 2000 watt uh ap 200p i think it is can run this with no problem i've already tested it or if i'm hooked to shore power i can just plug it into one of the outlets here and run the uh can plug it in right here <clears throat> and run that copper chef which is really efficient with i bought one of these pans that are compatible with it and i could run that and make breakfast eggs pancakes whatever i needed um for that so that's what i wanted to show you guys today but i wanted to talk about and show you the openness here of the RV, my cabinets, how much more room it has when that slide out is out. It just opens the whole thing up to so much more uh, room. And there you can see, you know, Teddy's in the back there on the bed. Some people take that table out and they just use little snack tables. I've always kept it in. <clears throat> you got the whole dinette, all that storage above there. I've got the uh, excuse me, the microwave slash um, convection oven. 
I don't think we even ever used the convection. I think we used the convection once when we camped out in Florida. We used the microwave a few times. It's basically brand new. This camper is basically brand new, except for a little wear and tear. The Dometic refrigerator. Now, I wouldn't run the refrigerator off the battery the way I have it set up now, unless I was in shore power. These are not that efficient. So I just did a video a little while ago showing you my refrigerator, my 12 volt Dometic refrigerator on the van. I would just simply bring that in here, plug it into the, put it on the counter here, plug it into the Jackery and, um, or my other battery if I had it with me and be able to run that refrigerator off grid. <clears throat> this wire you see here is plumbed out for the um, Blue Eddy battery, which is a bigger battery, has a little bit different hookup. And all I have to do is hook that battery to this cord and then swap that cord with the cord I have now for the Jackery. Just flip flop the cords and then the camper runs off the 2000 watt Blue Eddy, which gives me more options. I could even run this refrigerator if I wanted to off that setup. And then I could bring in solar through the port that I built a few months ago. You guys saw that video. I drilled the hole through there and made that. And I'm able to also finally fix the screen door handle. I'll show you. So I could run, I could run solar panel wires or cords or whatever, even my, um, my high frequency HF antenna or two meter antennas, I could run through there, keep the radio inside the, inside the uh, vehicle and um, be able to run that, get wires in without having to go crazy. These guys think I'm leaving them. I'm not leaving you guys, I'm staying with you. And your sink, your counter area. Just wanted to show you guys the, the larger view of the uh, RV when it's open. And again, this slide out will go back in off grid. All I have to do is press in and it'll run it, do it right off the battery. And there's your wet bath. Right here, sink, toilet, uh, I enhanced the shower head there, and then the three-speed fan, shower curtain. So, everything you need, storage under the bed. That's a original cover for the whole RV. I never used it. I keep it under there. And then again, you got your wardrobe here. I showed you the guys this in the other videos. Um, and then three drawers here here again it's all ready for another outlet here and that's what your camper looks like i just brought this machete i'm going to keep this on board uh keep a machete on here in here um but yep that's the video so thanks for watching take care stay ready and um be able to have other options to go bug out or go off grid. I happened to several years ago um, invest in this with my van. I just did a video on the van, went, you know, uh, showing you how I, how I have it set up for winter. But what I did was uh, between the van and the camper, if I had to bug out and I had time to do it, I could simply hook up, take the camper and the van to point B, wherever I was going and um, leave the camper at point B and take the van to point C and be able to go back and forth from point B, C, back to A. So I had options and I wanted to have fairly comfortable way to do it. This is one way to do it off grid, like I have it set up now. And um, that's what my thinking was years ago when I did this setup with the van and the RV. So you're looking at, um, a 17 foot interior camper here, 20 foot total, not super heavy, uh, not real big, get into most areas with it. And um, still roomy enough, definitely for two people and the two dogs, which is my was my original 
uh, setup, just me, my wife, and the two dogs. But it can accommodate more if I had to. So, so I'm running all this off that battery right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.